Welcome back, guys, to another episode of The Witcher 3. Oh! It's crossing a crazy bridge right now. I don't know if we're allowed to come through or what. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something. The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. I've got a pass, this boys! We Since we're helping out the, uh, the Baron. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal. The red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens. So be it. You may come through. Nice, dude. We would have had a hard time. We would have had to swim across the damn thing otherwise. That would have been awful. In settled areas such as cities, villages, and camps, paths tend to be narrow and obstacles numerous. This is your maximum movement speed in these locations is limited. All right. Well, we made it, boys. It wasn't easy. We made it. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Get our help up. And now we're gonna go find his daughter. It's a pretty nice looking. Oh, there's a barber shop over there. I think that's what the scissors mean. I would assume that's what scissors mean. All kinds of beggars all over the place. Notice board. The armor guy over off to the right. What the per what's, what's the person with the, the, the merchant? Oh, I, I'm out. What can I do with the merchant's hat? If I ain't got it today, say the word, I'll have it tomorrow. Let me see. Might pick something. I don't even, like really even know what we're looking for. I'm just so looking to make sure we can't, like, if there's something really super awesome, like some oil we can put in our sword or something. I don't know. So we have to come around this way. Your kind spreads disease. Inside we go. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitek sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Well, that was easy. Almost too easy. Hey there, kitty cat. What's up, kitty? You're looking for me, and who might you be? Uh oh. My father sent you. Ooh, yeah. I was expecting a dime. She's alive. kinda ugh. And well, I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. You're right. Why don't Your we just fail it? Because she doesn't want to come yeah, back? I agree. But in that case, why are you helping him? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. 
Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my Is mom. he gonna give her the realize that might not be that easy. little doll that don't her worry, dad I'm gave? Not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now, powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. Ah, <laughs> so funny. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? I've forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Radovid, <laughs> Baller! Which in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Well, he didn't really hire me. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding a mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Nice. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. You didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. I didn't really have a, a chance to force into. to go back. So long. I wouldn't have, but it luck. didn't give me the option. Can we pet the kitty? How are you not gonna pet the kitty? Nibbles, what a cute name. Can we pet him? Right. Let's rob this place, son. I mean, is, is this, is this bad to do? Can we take this armor? That would have been sick. We're getting a bunch of books. We're stealing everything that this place has to offer, man. Got a bunch of books. I'm not sure if we can actually read those and like become smarter or something or what, but... Thanks for letting me steal all your shit, bro. I wish we could have taken your armor off the walls more than that. That would have been cool. Alright, now we're gonna go back and talk to the Baron about tomorrow. So this time we are definitely just gonna use fast travel. Everyone to me! To me. Like nearest fast travel. Right down here. Pretty much follow this road. It's 
It's a lot of traveling you have to do in this game, dude. It's crazy. We're gonna come all the way here, get past the bridge and everything, just to talk to his daughter for like five minutes, and then bam, we're gonna go all the way back to the Baron's place. Rose Perch. Here we go, boys. We'll just run all the way there. Roach isn't that big of a help, to be honest. I'm glad we kind of took the long way in the last episode and, and took our time and did a little side mission, killed some monsters and stuff. But it's also really nice to have fast travel. I think we're going to have to focus on fast travel. Come on, baby. <coughs> oh, do we have the, the things for this yet? We might have the things for this. We're gonna see. How Need some armor. Are. Oh, we must not have gotten wire. I think we might have gotten string. Oops, that's my fault. So long. It's all right. So we need wire and leather scraps. We never find those off of a trader. Fact. We test our luck with this guy over here. There is a trader over here. We'll see if it works. Quartermaster. Fancy a our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Okay, what are you offering? Show me what you got. Hmm. Not really seeing anything good. You know what? We might buy this. Bought 13 baked potatoes. See ya. <laughs> for 65 coins. I think those will be good for uh, health regen in battle. We always struggle with health regen, so it'll be nice to have uh, a little stockpile there. Our first purchase, boys. Congratulations. All right, Mr. Baron. I come, Baron. Bad news. I'm listening. That was a good one. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not, good. not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. But what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! Alright. See so you later. <laughs> See you guys in the next episode.